This season of clan battles has come and gone, and for me, it's the first I participated in from start to finish. Fellow CCs Krieger and Volger the Viking were kind enough to take me on, and I'm thankful to them for giving me the chance. I learned a lot this season. I've dabbled in comp before, but this was the first time I've made a concerted effort to play. I quickly earned my keep as a destroyer, which I felt right at home in. Gearing is one of my favorite destroyers, and I feel I played pretty well in it. Radar has never bothered me, and I was able to both help offensively and defensively, spotting and slinging torpedoes. I had fun this season. I enjoyed my clan, I enjoyed my teammates, and win or lose, it was a good time. Despite this, I've come to the decision that clans just aren't for me. This is through no fault of my team, or the expectations of my own play. It just comes down to how clan battles are set up. And while I don't want to outright blame Wargaming, they hold the keys. And for a gamer with a wife and a career, the hours of clan battles just aren't conducive. First, let's look at the days. Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. No Friday, because the logic is Friday is a night where people go out and do things. Of all the nights, Friday is the one night where most people can likely play clan battles. Friday is a must for me. Friday and Saturday night are the two nights I can reliably game. Later at night. Sunday's a head scratcher. Most people are preparing for work. It's a busy night. So for someone like me, I realistically have one solid night I can play. Saturday night. And I might be able to break away for Wednesday or Thursday. But the days aren't the only issue. The hours aren't conducive either. 7.30 to 11.30. And that's East Coast time. On the West Coast, that's 4.30 to 8.30. I'd be out of luck if I was a West Coaster. I don't get home until 4.30. Most nights I'm spending time with my wife, so I usually can't get on until about 9 p.m. That leaves two and a half hours of play. Well, that's enough for a half dozen games or so. Come 11.30, I'm left wanting more because on the weekend, I can stay up later. I understand not everyone is in my situation. I get why the times are what they are. And to Wargaming's credit, our clan has never waited more than a minute to get into a battle. This, I think, is heavily due to restricting times. It's really a double-edged sword. Ideally, I'd love to see a few extra hours tacked onto the back end. Why stop at 11.30? That's early for an East Coaster, and super early for a West Coaster. Let the play go on longer into the night, and give us Friday night. I feel those changes would go a long way in helping those that lack as much time as some of the other players out there. I know that Wargaming is trying to introduce cross-region play, and I think that's exciting. But I need time before I can play clans across the pond. The other issue is there's just no payoff. The quest for Stalingrad got many into clans in the first place, but with the Snowflake event, everyone got what they needed for the most part. To be honest, I was playing merely to change things up, rejuvenate the game for myself, and thought little about the rewards. However, this isn't the case with other players. Others want something in return, and the Snowflakes took away a big incentive. I don't want to sound like I'm griping about clan battles. I think they ran fluidly, and they offer a nice break of pace from the doldrums of random battles. But, that being said, improvements can be made to make it available to even more players. For myself, I don't know if I'll play next season. I feel horrible being in a situation where I might keep a clan waiting because I don't even know my own schedule. Anyhow, I want to know if you have the same issues with clan battles. Do you think Wargaming should make clan battles more accessible by adding longer hours or more days? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how this season went for you and how you would improve clan battles. Thanks for watching Zoop Out.